Australia, consumer demand pulls through about 1.5 million tonnes of plastics per annum to be manufactured into goods. Our current recycling rate for the plastics that we make in Australia is around 19%, and that's mechanical recycling or turning old plastic back into new plastic. There's a myth that because we have plenty of land, plenty of holes and plenty of mines, that we can just fill them. Well, what we're talking about is companies taking, you know, companies taking a responsibility, but the negative is that they think just by putting a, a little R on their products, that's all they need to do. We've created this terrible mess and no one is taking responsibility for it. But when we talk about resource efficiency and waste, we also need to think about not only local problems, but global ones. Marine litter is a concerning problem. Every colored bits of plastic. The garbage patch is caused by a series of currents of the Pacific Ocean, pooling what we all throw it's away. The great Pacific garbage into patch. a continent sized plastic of which doesn't biodegrade. Estimated, estimated to contain crumbles down into smaller and smaller, and smaller pieces. We don't want to see any plastic that's been used well end up in an inappropriate environment and plastic in oceans is the wrong place for it to be. It's the wrong destination for a valuable product. It saddens me to see all this plastic going to landfill. It's a resource. Imagine what we could achieve by keeping it out. Having plastic used once and only once and ending up in, in landfill is a waste of the material and the energy inputs. Companies have more often than not paid lip service to environmental concerns and they need to stand up and take responsibility for all their products uh, in the marketplace. The way I see it, if we don't change our direction, we're likely to end up where we're headed. 75% of the environmental contribution of a product is locked in at the design stage, and that's where the greater opportunity is. What if all products were designed with an end-of-life solution in mind? What if there was a solution that could maximise the resource recovery of all this plastic? What if the tools existed to make a significant change now? What if simple, practical solutions existed? One of the important opportunities to make better use of the materials that we have is to put plastics to work. We take industrial and commercial waste and make it into useful, attractive products for councils and schools. All of our current and future designs will be incorporating robotics to tend the machines. This means we get the maximum out of our machine time. We're not waiting on operators to remove parts or stack parts. The machines will run 24 hours without stopping. The reason we use robotics to tend our machines is to be competitive in the marketplace. I'm pretty happy going to work each day knowing that Replays are uh, world leaders in production of recycled plastic, fabrication, creative moulds, products, raw material facilitation. We definitely lead the world with innovative products and yeah, it's, it's pretty special. The, the beauty of this product is that we don't have to maintain it. We use it at the decking, shorelines, uh, very easy to use, easy to drill. Fellas had no problem using it. Just a great product to use and very easy. And the wonderful thing about this is we've managed to blend in modern products with the nature of surrounds so this will be absorbed in and you hardly notice it's even here. We worked with a landscape architect to design a boardwalk that had a recycled top and a composite fibre base. Council was very committed to green and sustainable products and that in the end was why we chose Replas products. Councils have a great opportunity to close the loop and create a market for the waste that's being generated in their municipality. The responsibility is ours and together we can make a change.